Hello, this is Mark Lorichel from ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. Thanks for joining us on this video. We wanted to feature a lesson from one of our courses. This lesson demonstrates how to show or hide objects on your layout based on a condition. In addition, it'll demonstrate how to make a field available in browse mode, in find mode, or both or neither. So there's some interesting things to learn here, especially if you are new to the journey of the Claris platform and you want to learn more about Claris Pro or also known as FileMaker Pro. You can find this full course at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. The name of the course is called FileMaker Pro Beginner. Now on to the lesson. In this lesson, we talk about layout objects on the right pane. This time we focus on behavior. So here's our file that we've been working with right along. I'm going to click the right pane. On the right pane, I'm going to select this icon here for data. And then we'll be focusing our attention on the behavior area right here in the middle. So this first option says hide object when. This is an extremely powerful layout tool that really does come in handy. Let me give you an example. Let's just say I wanted to create a text message to the user that said, don't forget to enter a note reminding them to please enter a note. And this message will be there persistently until they actually enter a note. Now, on one hand, this is sort of a bad example because we don't normally use notes to encourage data entry necessarily, but it's a good example for this use case in terms of how objects can hide based on a condition. So I'll select the object, then I'll select the pencil icon here where it says hide object when. And just like in some of the other examples where we took a look at placeholder text and maybe tool tips, we have a calculation here. Anything that's true as a result of this calculation, if it evaluates to true, it will hide this object. So because this is a text string that says, don't forget to enter a note, we actually want to hide this if there is a note here. We really haven't learned calculations, but we'll go ahead and do a quick one just so that I can show you how cool this feature is. So I'll select the contracts note field, which is here. And I'll say, if that is greater than zero, again, this is not exactly ideal coding. You wouldn't necessarily do greater than zero for evaluating a text field. You'd probably use the not function with the is empty function in combination, but I don't want to make this too complicated. And I certainly don't want to make this lesson about calculations. But let's just continue forward. Contacts note greater than zero, which means there is a note. If there is a note, I want this to hide. So if I go back to browse mode, Obviously, I don't have a note here, so I'm getting my message, don't forget to enter a note. But if the user were to come along and I have a note here, the moment I click out of that, this object will evaluate. Once it evaluates the fact that there is a note here, it will disappear from the layout. Go back to layout mode, of course, it's still here, and it shows you the indicator here for hide, and that is under view, show, hide condition. So long as I have that option, I'll see that little eyeball there. So you wanna make sure that you have that on. You should automatically, all new files, or I should say a new fresh install of Claris Pro will actually have this on by default. Okay, so that's an example of where you can hide an object. And it's not limited to text-based objects. You can do this for fields, and just about all the objects can be hidden based on a calculation. So that's a really powerful feature. Also note that it's available in find mode. So this is an interesting thing. Enter your note info to find a note. You could actually have this specific to find mode. And now when I'm in find mode, my note appears. And I'm still in find mode, but I'm going to go ahead and enter some note criteria. I can't get into find mode on that. Let me just go back to layout mode and make sure that that field is allowing me to do data entry in fine mode. So now I'm back in fine mode, and normally you'd put in your fine criteria, first name, last name, and so forth. But if I do have information, uh, find me, the moment I click out of that, it'll disappear. So this works in fine mode just as well as browse mode, and it gives you some interesting possibilities to guide the user or to help the user identify things on a layout. Developers use this for all kinds of things. For example, if you had a button on a layout, and you only wanted that button to appear under certain conditions because it may apply or not apply depending on what type of data entry they've done or what type of layout they're on or what type of data they're working with. You can hide buttons, text, fields, you name it. So really powerful option there. 
And I encourage you to play around with that, especially after you learn more about calculations. Okay, so now here we have field entry. And you might have seen me use this example just a second ago where I went into the note field and made sure that it was available in find mode. This is used for basic frontline user interface. If you want one field to be a display only field where you don't want people to type into it, you simply don't allow browse mode. If you want them to go into find mode but never type in a particular field because it's something you don't want them to normally find by, maybe it's a global field or something else, then you would not select find mode. If you want it to be a standard field where it's available both browse mode for data entry and find mode for finding things, then you have both of these selected. This is the default behavior for all new fields. If I add a modified field on here, you'll see that it comes complete with browse mode and find mode enabled by default. Okay, then you have the option to select the entire contents on entry. This is another interesting concept where if I have the note field and I click in here, note that I can put my cursor anywhere I want. But what if there was an example where you wanted to click in there and have the entire object selected as a whole? Let me go back to browse mode. And now when I click in here, it selects everything, all my text at once, allowing the user to immediately just type right over what they have. Now, in a note field situation, you normally wouldn't select select entire contents on entry because notes are something that people often iterate over where they want to add to a note or remove something from a note, but they don't necessarily want to delete the whole note as a whole. But maybe something like first name, last name would be something that someone would want to type the entire thing if they were going to start doing data entry on that. So it's just another interface tool available to make life easier for the user. Thanks for joining us on this lesson. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one.